I'm Trina Lavery. I'm a business reporter with Mass Live. And I'm here at Cambridge's Juice Bar at Riverwalk in Lawrence. I'm here with the owner, Julia Kess. She's going to tell us a bit about how her business opened up and how she's been uh, running her team for the past few years. So, Julia, do you mind starting off to tell us how you got into the business and why you wanted to open up the team? Sure, sure, I'd love to. So, I grew up in the restaurant business. My father um, was a business owner and entrepreneur. Um, and he started the Loft restaurant in Joe Fish um, in North Andover. So I grew up in the Merrimack Valley, and I was born and raised in the restaurant business. And we also own Boston Chowder right now. My brother and sister run Boston Chowder. So the restaurant business and the food service is in my blood, so it's who I am. Even though I said I'll never get into the food service, I said, you know what, it's who I am, and it's where I'm most comfortable. Um, I decided to open the juice bar because I have a passion for health and wellness. I'm a certified health coach. Um, and I thought, what a great way to combine my experience with food service and health and nutrition and to be able to offer um, some healthy options to the community because I just feel like um, there's not enough. And I feel like there should be more um, options, healthy options for people. So I thought, what a great way to start, start a juice business and um, offer that to the community. So when you started out with Delicious, you were in a much smaller space across the street at the gym that Matt River Watch here. So uh, tell me a bit about what it was like being in that small space and how that has been over the years. It has been a wonderful experience. Um, I started it about six years ago. Um, I, in fact, this has been a dream of mine for over 10 to 15 years. It's something I've always wanted to do. Um, and the opportunity presented itself over there, and I thought that it's a great opportunity because I was able to, I had smaller kids at home at the time, and that was my number one priority. Uh, but I also wanted to jump on this opportunity, and it was great because here at Riverwalk, I was able to have the hours, um, you know, from like, you know, eight to three, eight to four, and then I could be back for my kids, and I didn't have to be open on, on the weekends. So that was a great opportunity. And I started off small, um, and then it just kind of grew after that, it just word of mouth. Um, and the community here at Riverwalk has been amazing. They are my, my family, I call them my peeps, and I wouldn't be here today without them. Uh, so I decided after about six years, I, I said, you know, I really want to expand. I want to provide my customers with, with um, you know, just, just a, a better option, a, a more improved, elevated, better experience. Over there was great, and it was a great stepping stone. It was a great starting point, but I outgrew it. It was really small. My family over at Flow, Flow Fitness, we miss them, they miss us. But I said, we're only just, a, you know, a few steps next door. Um, so I really wanted to give my customers a better experience and expand my offerings. Um, and so I knew way back when that they were going to build this pavilion. So I kind of held on um, and I just, you know, kept my eye on, on, on the end goal. And I had some challenges along the way. We all know, you know, COVID happened and that was a huge challenge. Even before that, we had the gas explosions here in the Merrimack Valley. And again, that was another challenge. But you know, just determination and just, you know, and patience. And if you can stay on track and just keep your eye on the goal and just persevere and just be patient and determined, you can reach any goal. And I knew that this was my end goal. So I overcame those challenges and I, I waited and I was patient. And just again, the, the people here at Riverwalk are amazing. They're my customers, my family. And that's what I wanted to provide here too, is a place that people can come and just feel like family and just be able to relax enjoy good food, good company, chill out, plug in, do whatever you want, and just hang out, and just feel like your family, and, and kind of like my home. Absolutely. So you opened up here two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago, um, I do have my grand, my official grand opening, uh, June 14th, that's right. a week from tomorrow, and that will be a ribbon cutting ceremony. I never did that before, so right. that's, that's gonna be, you know, something special. Um, but I decided, you know what, we're ready. I opened the doors quietly two weeks ago um, just to give my staff some live training and work out any of the kinks. And it's been amazing. Everybody's been so supportive and all my original customers that I had closed next door for the month to kind of transfer and transition over here. And they were dying and, and chomping at the bit and waiting for me to open. And it was just so 
wonderful to see them back and excited and they're just all so happy for the business but most importantly I'm so happy to see them happy and that's ultimately the goal you know that I have and in, in, in you know what I strive for that's great so I know you told us earlier that you've added some new things now that you're here in the bigger space and you've got coffee now yeah. yes so um, I have brought back before COVID I had done um, fresh salads and wraps and so Due to COVID and everything, I had to downsize my menu offerings and things like that, and, um, just to kind of skate through the, the challenges that COVID brought um, after the fact when things started to reopen. But so here, fast forward, we're here, been open for two weeks. It's been going great. The support, the enthusiasm, the excitement that my, my original customers have um, has been just just making me feel great about, you know, I, you know, this, I did the right thing. Cause sometimes you always, you, you question yourself sometimes, am I doing the right thing? It's scary. It's scary. Anytime you, you take a risk. Um, but if you believe in it wholeheartedly, then you, sh you know, it's going to happen. And just with patience and determination, you can always make, make it happen. So I brought my salads and wraps back and they've been a huge hit. Everything I make here, the dressings, that creamy lime cilantro dressing that everybody loves, it's all made here. I freshly juice the limes through my juicer, um, fresh cilantro, everything goes in the blender, uh, fresh garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and so that's how we make the, you know, the dressings here. But it's been a hit and I know that, um, you know, the area needs more lunch options, so I was very happy to bring those back in and provide those to, to all my customers. And the other thing that I brought in that's brand new is our full espresso bar. I bought that, I was kicking and screaming because I said I was not going to enter the coffee world because anytime I want to do something, I want to make sure that I offer the best, you know, the best that I can. I, that, that makes me happy to provide the best for my customers and know that they really enjoy it. So I wanted, so I knew that opening up that whole avenue and stream of things was going to be a little bit challenging, but I found um, a great coffee company out of Bar Harbor, um, Coffee Hound, amazing coffee and um, they're just awesome. I can't say enough about them. But so the coffee here is excellent. It's a good, strong cup of coffee, just how I like it. So anyway, so that's brand new to me, but also I added some um, wellness lattes as well to the menu. And that has more of a holistic wellness um, you know, vibe to it. So it has things like reishi mushroom, chaga mushroom, lion's mane. Um, that's just my jam or all the, you know, the wellness, the wellness thing. So I like to put that spin on whatever I do. So I have those offerings here as well. Fantastic. All right, that's it for Delicious Smoothie Bar. Uh, thank you for staying with us. Uh, and stay tuned for more from Delicious and Riverwalk uh, later today. Thank you so much.